This video is created by Jagrat Creations. It is on conversion or sale by a firm. So partnership firm is converted into a company or the business of partnership firm is sold to a company. That is the meaning of this title, conversion or sale by a firm. I want to solve one sum on this chapter. Just look at the sum that I intend to solve here before you. This sum was asked in IPCC recent examination. Yash, Tanish and Ruchika were partners sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1. Balance sheet of the firm is as follows. On liability side, you are given the capital account of Yash, Tanish and Ruchika. These are the current account, credit balance, this is the debit balance. Unsecured loan, current liability, fixed assets, investment. Current assets include stock and debtors and cash and bank balance. On 1st of April 2014, all the partners agreed to form a new company, YTR Company Limited. So partnership firm is converted into a company which shall take over the firm as a going concern including goodwill but excluding cash and bank balance. So this cash and bank balance 12,500 12, is not purchased by the new company. That's an important point to be noticed. The following matters were agreed upon. Goodwill shall be valued at 3 years purchase of super profit. Actual profit for the purpose of goodwill valuation will be 20,000. Normal rate of return is 7.5% of the fixed capital. So this is the fixed capital. 50,000 plus 20,000 plus 10,000 is the total fixed capital. On that 17.5% is the normal rate of return. How much is the, to what extent the profit potential of 20,000 is more than 17.5% of the fixed capital that is identified as super profit and that super profit multiplied by 3 is the value of goodwill. This is how we can find out the exchange value for goodwill for this partnership firm. All other assets and liabilities are taken at book value. Purchase consideration will be paid partly in rupees 1 each and partly in cash. Now whatever the purchase price that we may, we may work out, that will be paid partly in cash and partly in equity shares. What part will be given in cash and what part will be given in terms of equity share is the matter which is quite important in this sum that we are required to find out while solving the sum. That's an important point. Ruchika agreed to uh, Yash and Tanish to acquire the interest in new company in the ratio of 3 is to 2 at face value. So whatever the consideration that has been received by the partnership firm in form of shares, that is total considered that form of shares consideration will be distributed between Yash and Tanish in the ratio of 3 is to 2. So shares are going to be distributed in the ratio of 3 is to 2 between two partners Yash and Tanish. But Ruchika agreed to retire after taking her share in cash. So share of Ruchika is to be paid in cash. So how much cash will be received from a company? The cash will be received will be equal to the cash required for making payment to Ruchika. So after making payment to Ruchika in form of cash, whatever the remaining consideration to be recovered from YTR Limited, that will be received in terms of shares and that shares will be distributed between Yash and Tanish in the ratio of 3 to That's an important point. I'll explain this point once again while solving the sum. Realization expenses amounted to 5,000. Prepare realization account, cash and bank account, YTR private limited account and capital accounts of the partners. So I am required to prepare necessary accounts for the purpose of solving the sum. Let me start with that. But before that, first of all, I would like to work out the purchase price of the business. So here I am going to work out the purchase consideration, purchase price of the business. In light of this given information, and how the purchase price is paid, that also I am going to write down here at the end of the sum. Just observe how I work out the purchase price is in a working note. So profit selling ratio is 3 is to 2 is to 1. So let me write down that at the top. Goodwill. Valued at 3 years purchase of super profit. So I am required to find out the super profit that will be multiplied with 3 to find out the value of goodwill. To find out the super profit, I am giving the actual profit potential of the company that is of the firm that is 20,000. The normal rate of return is 17.5% per annum on fixed capital. 
So let me prepare a working note. This is a profit potential, annual profit potential of the firm. The expected normal rate of return is 17.5% of the fixed capital. Fixed capital 50, 20, 10, 80,000 into 17.5%. So that works out to be 14,000. So super profit. So profit which exceeds the normal rate of return. The profit potential that is more than the normal rate of return is 6,000 that is known as super profit. Super profit multiplied by 3 is the value of goodwill. So goodwill. What is purchased? The company has purchased partnership firm at what goodwill? Good, for goodwill, the aggregate value is 18,000. Now, all other assets and liabilities are taken at book value, but cash and bank balance is not taken. Remember it. Fixed assets are taken at 45,000. Investments are taken at 15,000. Stock at 10,000 and debtors 27,500. Cash and bank balance is not taken. And for the purpose of solving the sum, I am required to copy the balance sheet. So, this current account of Tanish will be debited to the Tanish current capital account. Fixed capital account will be credited to the capital account of the partners and this current account will be credited to the current account of the par uh, to the capital accounts of the partners in realization account, unsecured loan and this current liabilities also will be credited to realization account. Here I am preparing our purchase consideration statement. In this purchase consideration, all these assets are taken at the book value except goodwill is valued. So this is the total value of assets. These are the liabilities because all assets and liabilities are sold. So liabilities are sold at book value. While solving the sum, when I am going to prepare realization account, how this capital accounts will be transferred that I have mentioned to you. Now this is the price at which the assets are purchased. So total value of assets is 115,500 minus 30,000. So 85,000 is the purchase price. How this purchase price is received? Partly in cash and partly in terms of shares. For that, I am required to prepare the amount to be paid to Ruchika in cash. So to that extent, cash is going to be received as against 85,000. And to find out the total amount to be paid to Ruchika in cash, I am required to prepare first of all realization account. Profit or loss on realization will be distributed amongst partners. Ruchika will be paid cash against her capital, taking into consideration the cash and bank balance not sold. So this is to be considered. So let me start. This is the purchase price. This is a purchase consideration for the sale of my partnership firm. And as I'm told to prepare realization account, capital account, new company account, let me start with that. Now see, here I prepare realization account, cash and bank account, capital account, and new company account. Now all the assets to be realized are transferred to the debit side of realization account. So copy the balance sheet. As I told to you, fixed assets debited to realization account, investment, stock, debtors. These are the debit balances transferred to realization account. If you want to write down the generated realization account debit to fixed asset 45,000, to investment account credit 15,000, to stock account credit 10,000, to debtors account credit 27,500. Cash and bank balance is not sold. So cash and bank balance. Cash and bank balance, 12,500 will go to cash and bank account. Current account of Tanish will be debited to current account. Partners capital account will be debited. Fixed capital account are credited to Yas, Tanish and Ruchika, credit side, balance carried down. As the partnership firm is dissolved, no need to keep separate fixed capital account and current capital account because this is a dissolution of the partnership firm. Current capital account and fixed capital account are required to be maintained in a going concern if you are going to continue with the partnership firm in future years. We are required to maintain separate accounts for fixed and current capital account. But in case of dissolution, you can merge these two accounts and transfer them to at one capital account. So current capital balance of Yash and Ruchika being credit is credited to capital account. This is how the capital balances are recorded. These liabilities are credited to the realization account. This is how balance sheet is copied. Now after recording this entire business is sold at a price of 85,000. So purchase consideration due, purchase consideration due from YTR limited 85,000. So YTR limited account debit to realization account credit. This is the purchase price to be received from YTR. How much amount is to be received in cash? How much in the form of equity shares? That we shall find out after a couple of minutes. So this is the consideration to be received. 
Now let me close this realization account and find out the profit or loss on realization of assets and liabilities. But before that, I am required to pay the dissolution expenses. So realization expense account debit. So realization account debit to cash account credit. So after debiting this realization expenses to my realization account, I'm, I'm, I can find out the profit or loss on realization of assets and liabilities. So now total of credit side, 115,500 minus debit side. So this is the difference. This is the total profit on realization. This profit will be distributed in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1. So yes, get 3 is to 2 is to 1, 3 sixth. Tanish get 2 sixth. And Ruchika gets 1 sixth. This is how share in realization profit is to be given. This share in profit will be credited to the capital account. Now you can find out the amount to be paid to Ruchika. So if you do have a total of credit side of Ruchika's capital account 10 plus 4 plus 2167. So 16,167, this is the amount that Ruchika claims under the dissolution of the partnership firm and she is to be paid in cash. So 16,167 that is paid to Ruchika. So I had 12,500 with me. From the dissolution expenses paid, 5,000. So amount left is 7,500. Cash balance left with me is 7,500. From that I am required to pay. I, am, I cannot make a payment of 16,167. The amount of deficit of cash that will be received from YTR Limited. So here total of credits are 21,167 minus 12,500. This is the cash that I have received from this YTR Limited. So amount received from YTR Limited is 8,667. So cash account debit to YTR Limited account credit. So out of this 85,000, this much cash is received. So 85,500 minus 8,667, that is a receive. That is a consideration received in form of equity shares. So let me find out the consideration received in the form of equity shares. 85,500 minus 8,667. So 76,833 is the consideration received in form of equity shares and these equity shares are distributed by Yash and Tanish in the ratio of 3 is to 2. So Yash get 3 fifth of it, Tanish get 2 fifth of it. So 76,833 into 2 fifth, this is the amount received by Yash and Tanish. Partners have received the shares, they are the receiver, debit the receiver. So partner's capital account is to be debited for that. And remember, this 85,000, this is the amount received in form of cash. As I told you at the end of the sum, I will tell you, out of the 85,500, 85,000, 80, I'm sorry, 85,500 should be there. Out of this 85,500, how much amount is received in cash and how much amount is received in form of shares that is being told to you. This is a mistake. Purchase consideration is 85,500. This is correct. I'm sorry for that. So this is how this purchase consideration is worked out and distributed. Now the last part. I am required to close the capital account of the remaining two partners. And the difference in this capital account will be same. That is the accent that should occur between Yash and Tanish. So if you close the capital account, Yash is entitled to have this, Yash is entitled to have 62,500 against that he got only 46,100. So remaining amount that he will claim from Tanish. So 16,400 will be recovered, will be taken by Yash from Tanish. Similarly, if you close the account of Tanish, the same is the difference. So what does this imply? 16,400 is the value to be exchanged between Yash and Tanish. So Yash will get from Tanish or Tanish pays to Yash for account settlement, 16,400. This is an important consideration that the student should notice. And this bifurcation of this purchase consideration is an important point of this sum. I have tried to explain you this sum. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to